Welcome to the Energy Safe Victoria Electrical Apprentice Safety Presentation. This presentation has been developed for new electrical apprentices to make you aware of the dangers present in the electrical field and provide some tools to assist you to stay safe as you progress through your apprenticeship. The electrical industry is vast in its scope and begins with the generation of electricity. It continues through transmission, distribution and then into individual installations which is where most of you will be working. Our aim is to educate you on how you keep yourself safe at work. Safe work practices are essential. If you don't know how to do something, ask. We want to make it absolutely clear that it's the responsibility of the supervising electrician to provide effective supervision to the apprentice. It's the responsibility of the supervising electrician to make sure you know how to work safely and are working safely. In the 12 months from 2015 to 16, we have investigated four electrical worker fatalities in Victoria. Three of those fatalities have been electrical apprentices. This photo shows an actual site where an electrical apprentice died recently. Energy Safe Victoria wants to make sure this doesn't happen to you. So for every job that you do, the equipment that you are going to work on must be made safe to work on. Your supervising electrician must ensure that this happens. The isolation point of the circuits or equipment that you are working on must be identified. The circuit or equipment must be isolated, tested, and then proven to be de-energised. This is vitally important for your safety and that of others around you. If you have any doubts, ask questions. Say no if you need to. Contact ESV if you need assistance, have questions or want support. As a first year apprentice, your supervising A grade electrician must provide you with constant supervision and specific guidance. Your supervising electrician must be readily available in your immediate work area and within audible range. Your supervising electrician must prove that the equipment you are working on is not live. This is a skill that you will learn during your apprenticeship. There are some basic ABCs for licensed tradespeople working in our industry. Assume nothing, believe no one, check everything. Never assume a circuit or equipment is not live. Do not trust anyone who tells you something is not live. Check it yourself. Always use a voltage tester or multimeter to test and confirm the equipment you're working on is not live. As a first year apprentice, you must perform these tasks under direct supervision. Any equipment containing electrical wiring can become live at any time if there is a fault or if someone has not done their job properly. Unexpected situations can occur when you least expect it. We test before we touch to find out if it's safe to work on the equipment. If you have any doubts, ask questions. Say no if you need to or you are unsure. As an example, this is a domestic water pump located on a farm. Moisture entered the electrical terminals of the pump motor, which caused the frame of the pump to be live at 246 volts. A person died when he touched this water pump. Don't let this be you. Always test before you touch. Another industry basic is don't work on or near live parts. You should never work on live parts. You may hear the saying, don't work live, quite often in our industry but it's also very dangerous to be working near live parts, as the same risks apply. If you isolate a switchboard at the main switch, but do not remove the service fuse, you will be working on a switchboard that still contains live parts. Here we show a switchboard where the main switch is off, but there is still power to one side of the main switch, as you can see by the lit up tester. Therefore, there is still access to live parts at this switchboard. So the recommended action is to remove the service fuse, your supervising electrician can do this, following supply authority procedures. This electrician was working on a switchboard that contained live parts, and he did not isolate or take adequate precautions. Three years after this incident, this electrician still does not have full use of his hand. This could happen to you if you don't work safely. These next few slides show details of a severe electrical incident that involved a young electrical worker who was working in the electrical switchboard compartment shown here. The isolator was turned off in this compartment. However, terminals on one side of this isolator were still live, just as we saw earlier in the other switchboard. The electrician's pliers came into contact with live parts. 
causing a large electrical explosion to occur. The arc from the explosion was the cause of the severe burns to the electrical worker. The electrical worker, his supervisor and the employer all failed to follow the basic procedure of isolating when working in the vicinity of live parts. This compartment could have been isolated upstream to eliminate the hazards of working near live parts. The reason given for not isolating further upstream was that this would have adversely affected production. This is never an excuse to work unsafely. The results of this incident was a much greater loss of production. The cost of replacing and repairing the switchboard compartment and the devastating ongoing effects of this injury to the young man and his family. This video demonstrates what happens when a fault is applied to a switchboard. This explosion was performed under controlled conditions to demonstrate what can happen when the rules are not followed. When you don't follow the rules, you are at risk of electric shock, arc flash burns, or even death. So how do you make sure you can work safely? After testing and isolating under supervision to make sure the circuits or equipment are safe, you must lock out and tag out. This is known in the industry as Lotto. Remember, a first year apprentice carrying out Lotto must do this under direct supervision. Every circuit you work on must be switched off or have the fuse cartridge removed. A lockout device must then be attached and padlocked with a completed danger tag attached. Never remove someone else's lock or tag and always check with your supervisor before re-energising. There is an Australian standard which provides further guidance on making your work environment safe. It is Australian Standard AS NZS 4836 Safe Work on or near LV electrical equipment. We recommend you get yourself a copy or have your employer provide you with a copy and follow the guidance given in it. These next few slides depict a fatality that occurred in late 2015. A 25 year old electrical worker was repairing this air conditioner. After isolating and carrying out his repairs, he energised the air conditioner to check it was working properly. Once he confirmed the air conditioner was working correctly, he did not isolate again before finishing internal electrical work and replacing the covers. So he continued working on this equipment while the electrical control panel was live. This electrical worker was killed when he made contact with live parts within the air conditioner control panel. Isolating the air conditioner unit would have prevented this young electrical worker's death. Remember to always lock out and tag out every circuit you work on, every time. All cables must be treated as live, not just actives. This is a photo of a socket outlet installed in a roof space for a light. An electrical apprentice had turned off the light switch, but had not turned off or locked out the circuit at the switchboard. There was a broken neutral at the socket outlet. The broken neutral was live. The apprentice did not test before touching the neutral. The 22-year-old apprentice electrician was killed. We want to make it absolutely clear that it is the responsibility of the supervising electrician to provide effective supervision to the apprentice. It's the responsibility of the supervising electrician to make sure you're working safely and know how to work safely. So in summary, don't forget, always ensure you have the correct supervision and remember to test before you touch. Don't work on or near live parts. Make every circuit you need to work on safe by isolating. After isolating, lock out and tag out to ensure no one turns on the supply while you're working on the circuit. Treat all cables as live, not just the actives. ESV have apprentice supervision guidelines on our website. Everyone deserves to go home from work safely, every day. Remember the WorkSafe Victoria messages. The most important reason for making your workplace safe isn't at work at all. If you have any doubts, ask questions. Say no if you need to. Contact ESV if you need assistance, have questions or want support. Energy Safe Victoria, ESV, is the technical and safety regulator responsible for electricity, gas and pipeline safety in Victoria. We also license electricians and electrical inspectors, we register electrical contractors and we issue and audit certificates of electrical safety. You can visit ESV's website for contact information, technical guidance and up-to-date safety issues. Please find us and like us on Facebook. 
We often have important safety alerts and information on our Facebook page. If you have any questions, ESV's contact details are on the screen. We look forward to working with you as you progress to becoming a licensed electrician.